couple days ago, I was just thinking to myself, like, why is there no clay alternative on the market? Why is everything on clay? Like, even the most basic things, you have to go in clay. Well, instantly launched their new super search feature. Um, so this is something that we're going to check out. So I thought, let me make a video about it. So the instantly super search is pretty cool. Like, you got all these uh, filters here that you can... You know, your usual job titles, location, industry keywords, employees, revenue, lookalike domain. Um, you can also upload domains like from a CSV and get the leads from there. And then there's a lot of technologies. And I mean a lot. Like even if you go on Apollo or Clay, they don't have these amount of technology searches. So like you can even type in Apollo and you'll see all companies that use Apollo, um, which is pretty cool. So you can find people that most likely do cold email, you can send to them. You can find news, launch product, hires, partners with, or click hires. You can see all companies that hire, received funding, is developing, promotes, market expansion. I mean, yes, these are all mostly big companies. But you can also see which ones are founded, or not founded, funded. <laughs> Seed, pre-seed, series A. I mean, there's a lot of cool features in this. Uh, and then you can also like, make an AI search, right? So you can type in like uh, recruitment company in Sweden, VP of sale or founder or CEO, you know, whatever, let's just try. And then we get a bunch of these leads here that we can just reach out to. But that's not the best thing. The best thing is that it literally is a clay table nowadays. I don't know when they added this, like if it was recent or if I'm just behind, but I mean, I'd rather keep everything in one place on instantly and do this here. I mean, you can even do the company name cleanup and everything. Like, it's super simple. You just go here. Here we have it. The company name cleanup template. Uh, yeah, it just runs on its own. You just connect your OpenAI account. For example, if I want to uh, do some web research, I can choose the instantly OpenAI account or any of these basically. Um, and then I can take a plot prompt like this, for example. Take a look at, and then you put summary, company description, and their LinkedIn, and write a short one sentence compliment presentation based on a profile. I mean, this is just standard stuff. You can generate a test output. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can tweak this around as much as you want, so it doesn't sound like any other email, but you get the point. I mean, here you can take your own personal OpenAI account. Uh, you can choose the model here. I mean, it's pretty cool. You can just get it to research. You can also write an email with AI. Uh, for example, if I offer finance companies a way to reduce your CSC in half, and then you take your unique value proposition, um, yeah, tone style requirements, and then we generate the test output. I mean, it's a simple email that you can then retweak, um, but this is all AI generated. And it doesn't even look too bad. Maybe this I would change, like this just seems weird, but yeah, apart from this, it's a pretty good email. It's straightforward. Like you can, you, you could use this for mass and just test and obviously here you run the conditions to find the work emails just as you do in clay you know um, which is pretty good and the credits i think you receive a bunch of free credits as well and also if you want to upgrade it's like 47 dollars a month for 1500 or 2000 instant credits which is much cheaper than clay so if you're on a budget and you want to do some outreach super simple even this for 5,000 or so is way cheaper than clay. Now, obviously, you can do much more uh, in clay itself. But if you don't want to do some hyper advanced GTM signal based things, then this is a great start. I mean, why not? Just try it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.